What's up, people? Welcome back. This will be the final Ubuntu for Dummies 2014 for this year. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, Toss, this is not Ubuntu. Well, because there's something wrong with your contact lenses. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm running this in actually Netrunner OS, and I'm doing this for a reason, which I will mention later. But for this one, the Ubuntu for Dummies 2014, I would end it this year with the frequently asked questions. And of course, I use the term dummies with all the respect and friendship that I can possibly give you. And I mean that someone who needs a little bit of help is a beginner, something new to this. You guys know what I mean. So I will not get too technical because I'm going to assume that you're watching this or wanted to watch this because you are a beginner to Linux. So what is Linux? Let's pretend you are standing on a bridge. On the south side of the bridge, you have hardware. On the north side of the bridge, you have software. You need something to connect the two pieces. That is called the Linux kernel. What is Ubuntu? Well, Ubuntu is a Linux-based operating system. Now, there are many Linux-based operating systems, such as Lubuntu, Zubuntu, Zorn OS. The list goes on and on. Is Ubuntu hard to learn? That is going to ben, depend on your uh, comfort level and patience factor. If you have zero patience, probably is. If you have a little bit of patience, it's not difficult at all. If you have lots of patience like myself, and I started learning this almost 10 years ago, you're probably, probably going to like what you see. Can I try Ubuntu without the leading windows? You most certainly can. You can create what's called a live CD or a live DVD or create a USB bootable stick without the leading windows. Is it difficult to install? Not at all. Most Ubuntu based operating systems have a what I call a dummies proof automatic installer that guides you through the installation process. I've shown you that many times. If you have not seen it, please search my channel. Which is better? Well, that is going to depend. Now, when I say better, is Windows better than Linux and vice versa? Each has its pluses and minuses. You're going to have to test them out or really test out Ubuntu if you have been using Windows a long time and try to figure out this question by yourself, I prefer the best of both worlds, meaning I like to dual boot. All right, can I run Windows software in Ubuntu? You can with random success. You will need a piece of software called Wine, W-I-N-E. Again, I've tried it with random success. If you got to have Windows software, why not just dual boot and run the Windows when you have to? All right, what about multimedia apps? Well, for this recording, I use something called Voco Screen. Uh, usually, I do the editing in something called Kden Live. For this short one, I probably will not be doing any kind of editing. But yeah, there are a wide choice of multimedia apps for Linux. And finally, is another Linux-based OS better than Ubuntu? Again, this will depend on your comfort factor. I'm showing you Netrunner, and this is the perfect spot for this discussion. There are two versions of Netrunner. One is a rolling release, one is an LTS release. This may or may not be better than Ubuntu. Once again, on your comfort level and patience factor. And again, Linux in general is highly customizable. So is Ubuntu better or worse than other operating systems? I would suggest you try them. One word of caution, this is a rolling release Netrunner OS. You must read the documentation if you try a rolling release. If you don't want to read lots of documentation, just check out the Netrunner LTS version. Those tend to be a little bit more stable. All right, and finally, your votes are in at least some of your votes, it appears that a lot of you prefer desktops over laptops. 
Now I must say, if I did not run this channel, I may use, I might have used laptops more than desktops. Again, that depends on what kind of production work you need to get done. But really, both are good. I have all of them. I have a desktop, laptop, tablets, and smartphones. That's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.